Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwaze and this is our first video in C++ programming language. So along with my Python videos, I will add uh, C++ uh, videos also. So uh, even though I have a complete series on C++ GUI development with Qt5, uh, if you're interested in learning uh, GUI development in C++, you can just check my that video. Uh, so now, uh, C++ is a compiled and uh, multi-paradigm programming language. Now, uh, uh, compiled means that C++ code is generally translated into machine language that can be understood directly by the system. And uh, multi-paradigm means that using C++, we can write procedural, functional, and object-oriented programming codes. Now, there are different sections that you can use C++. Uh, for example, using C++, we can build large and uh, distributed business software systems with uh, sophisticated user interfaces. Uh, also, we can use C++ for development of operating systems, uh, device drivers, uh, database management systems, game development, and 3D animations. And also, you can uh, use C++ for, for building a small embedded systems. Now, uh, uh, for, if we compare C++ from the viewpoint of speed, uh, C++ is the most fastest language. And uh, it's because C++ is tied very closely to the uh, underlying uh, hardware. Now, this was just a simple introduction to C++ programming language. Now, we are going to... I'll write our first Hello World application. Uh, I will use Virtual Studio and also CodeBlock uh, for this, for creating our first Hello World application. Now we are going to start our coding. Okay guys, now first I'm going to show you that how you can create your first project or your first C++ project in Virtual Studio. And after that I will show you that how you can use CodeBlock. So, you can download Visual Studio from the Microsoft website and install that. I've already downloaded it. I'm using uh, Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. Now you can just click on the new project and uh, and from here you can see we have you need to choose Visual C++ and we are going to just use Win32 console application. And after that, you can just give the name of your project. For example, uh, let me just give it uh, Hello World. And also, you can choose the location of the project where you want to save it. So after that, I click on the OK. OK, now from here, you need to just click on the Next. And in here, we are going to choose Console Application and uh, now just also you need to check this empty project because we are going to use empty project and after that click on the finish okay guys now this is our project now in the project if you see we have a solution and uh, this is the place that we can add our c++ codes for example our header files and our source files so right now you don't have any idea about the header files and source files uh, we are going to just click on the source and uh, we are going to uh, create a new item. So you can click on the new item and we are going to just uh, create a .cpp file. So now let me just change this to main.cpp. And after that, this is the location that you want to save it and click on the add. So now it will create an MPT uh, C++ file for us. So uh, you can see this is our uh, MPT C++ file. Also, I have changed the theme, the theme of my uh, Visual Studio. If you want to change, you can just uh, go to, I think, Tools, Options, and from here you can choose the environment. From here you can choose the, uh, the font size. So I have uh, chosen 20. Uh, but uh, also from the general you can just change the color team uh, so if you want I have chosen dark and after that click on the OK so now uh, first let me just write my code and after that I will describe the code so first let me just uh, uh, write this and run my uh, code 
so this is my uh, iostream file and now let me just create using name uh, namespace sorry namespace std and in main we are going to just uh, see out and let me say hello world end line and return zero okay now uh, if I run this you can run from here uh, so from uh, start without debugging so let me just run this uh, first let me run and you will see that I have a hello world console application in C++ programming language Okay, now you can see that this is our hello world console application if you, and if you see pressing the key to continue and if you hit enter it will uh, the window will be terminated also you can use control f5 in your keyboard so you can just hit that and you can see this is our uh, hello world now uh, let me just describe the code one by one the first thing we have hash include in here now uh, what it means so uh, this include is a way of including a standard or user defined file or classes in our program uh, also we can call it a directive preprocessor and this directive is read uh, by the preprocessor uh, and orders it to insert the content of a user defined or system header file into this program you can see in here we have we are telling that ha include the iostream file in our disk program now uh, the iostream what is iostream uh, it's a built-in uh, file in the c++ and the iostream file contains code that allows a c++ program to display output on the screen and also by using iostream we can read input from the keyboard because in the simple program if you see we are going to see out hello world now we need to add iostream in here because see out is a part of iostream now uh, when we use iostream we can use see out in here so uh, let me just remove this uh, include from here and uh, you can see we are receiving error in here and the C out and also end line because these two are the part of our this uh, uh, iostream uh, after this uh, include iostream we have using namespace std now every program may contain several variables functions and objects that for all of them we will have a unique name now C++ uses the namespaces to organize the names of program entities by adding this uh, using namespace std we are telling to C++ that the program will be accessing entities uh, whose names are part of namespace called std now you can see that we are using C out in here now if I remove this using name std let me just remove this now if I run this so let me just hit control F5 you can see again I have error in here but if you add for example let me just add in here uh, std C out you can see and also you can say std and uh, line and now if I uh, run this you will see that we don't have any error and we will see hello world in here you can see now and instead of doing this we are going to just add uh, using a uh, name uh, std uh, namespace std or standard library in here so you can just simply say using uh, namespace std because we are going to use standard library in here now if we add that there is no problem in our C out and also end L so the C out is just for printing if you're familiar with the programming language like uh, for example Python Python we have printlin or in Java we have uh, system.out.println and also 
uh, in C sharp uh, I think we have uh, uh, console dot write line now in C++ you can use C out for uh, printing or displaying a text in the screen uh, now also if you see in the and we have int main now this int main is I forgot to describe this the main is the beginning of the function right now we don't have any idea about the function but in the later part of the videos uh, we will talk about the functions now every C++ program must have a function called main it is the starting point of uh, uh, it's the starting point of your uh, C++, C++ programming language so you can also add for example let me just add another line C++ uh, hello C++ programming language and you can add endline it's just for end line so like this and if I uh, say control F5 sorry we have uh, let me just there is a problem I have used count so this is C out okay now if I hit uh, control F5 and you will see that we have the output in here so you can see we have hello world and we have C++ programming language. Now this was using uh, Visual Studio Code. Now if you don't want to use Visual, uh, sorry not Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio. Now if you want to use a uh, code block, now let me just do the same process in the code block. Let me just uh, open the code block. Okay, now first of all, you need to download code block. You can just download from the codeblock.org and you can click on the downloads. And after that, you can download the binaries. Click on the binaries. And now you can see we have four different operating systems Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, 10, and also Linux and Mac OS. So for Windows, you can just uh, go to download this. So make sure that you download this uh, setup.exe. And you can download from uh, click on this and it will be downloaded so after downloading open your code block and you need to create a new project so you need you can click on the file new and click on the project so from here you we because we are going to use a uh, console application you need to choose console application and click on go and click on next and you can see we we are going to select C++ and now you need to give your project title so let me just give uh, for example YT uh, tutorials and after that uh, this is the folder to create project and this is the project file name and this is the uh, resulting file name let me just click on next and make sure that you have this uh, GC compiler and we don't need to bring any change to this uh, to in, in here after that click on finish okay now you can see we have our project and if you see in here uh, we in the sources we have main.cpp now it's created by default uh, if you remember in uh, our uh, when we created project in Visual Studio uh, there was not any main.cpp we have created this file now in here you can see we have our main.cpp with a bunch of uh, codes in here uh, we have the stream so it's uh, created by default by code block and we have just hello world now you can just click on this build and run let me just run this you will see that we have our file our result in here okay now you can see that this is our hello world uh, let me just copy this and paste it again in here hello C++ programming and if I click on build and run you can see that we have in here so there is no problem you can use virtual studio or you can use code block uh, there's no problem using of these two so thank you guys uh, this was our first video in C++ if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.